Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be creating an action freeze frame, really cool effect. So let's take a look at what we're gonna be creating. effect if done well and really great for you guys out there who do a lot of action sort of videos especially you know mountain biking snowboarding like this one so let's quick take a quick look in fusion to see what we've got going on to create this entire effect there's not a lot going on we've got a bit of a freeze frame and then we've got a bit of a tracking and then obviously a mask but other than that there's not much going on so let's jump across to the edit page and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the example we're going to create a new timeline Okay, that's fine. And I'm just gonna grab a bit of footage here. We're going to grab this one and my out point, and I'm just gonna drag that down onto the timeline. And now with my playhead over the footage, I'm gonna jump across into Fusion. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is rename my nodes, because you know we like to keep ourselves organized on this channel. So with the media in one node select, I'm gonna just hit function F2 and rename it to the main so that we know that it's the main footage. The next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna find the point in the footage where I wanna freeze the image. And so I think if we go forward a little bit, I think there looks good, so frame 400. So we're gonna copy the main, so just Control C and Control V to paste it. And I'm gonna rename this one freeze for the freeze frame. And with that node selected, we're gonna hit shift space and add a time stretcher. So I'm gonna select time stretcher and hit add. And this is going to either slow the footage down or it can be used to freeze the image. So select the time stretcher node, head on over to the inspector. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is, is de-check this red diamond here because that's keyframing it and we don't wanna keyframe it. We just want it to be a still image. So currently it's set to freeze it at frame zero. We want it to be at frame 400. So all we need to do is double click in there and hit 400, nice and easy. And if we were to put this into viewer two, you can see that it's the exact same thing. But if I go through the, if I scrub through the timeline, it doesn't matter because it is freezed at frame 400. Next, what we wanna do is we want to mask out this little guy here so that the freeze frame really only contains that information. So we're gonna, select the footage, and we're just gonna add a polygon node. What we're gonna do is mask out this guy. Now, the best way to do this is have the media out node displayed in the viewer at frame 400, and then you can just zoom in and mask out here, and that saves you from having to invert the mask so that you can see what you're doing. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out this guy here, so you just click to add a point, click again, and we're just going to go through, and the more accurate, the better better. So I'm just going to go through and do that now. All right, so we've just created that mask. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the time stretcher into the viewer. So we're going to hit F. So we're going to put it into the viewer. So now we can see our mask. And what we could do is just feather it ever so slightly, not a lot, just a little bit, just so it's a little bit softer around the edges. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to put media out back into the viewer. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to merge this together. Really easy, grab the output of the time stretcher to the output of the main footage and it will create our merge. And so if I zoom out here and play through, now we've got our little dude here that hangs around through the footage. So, so far, so good. All we need to do now is track this footage from frame 400 so that you know we can pin this person in position. So what we're gonna do is select our footage, hit shift space, add a planar tracker and but with the planar tracker, it is a pattern-based tracker. And so the idea is, is you wanna pick a section of the footage that stays in the frame for quite a while, but also has a lot of detail. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just going to select this section here because there's a lot of good contrast points. And we're doing this at frame 400. It's important to start the tracker at the frame you've frozen the image at. So what we're gonna do is make sure you're at that frame with the tracker selected and we're gonna go up the top here in the inspector and hit set. So this is going to basically set this image or this pattern as the tracking object and it's going to track it through the frame based off of this point in time. So next we can look through here and we can have a look at some of the different options here. Currently the motion type is set to perspective. What we're gonna to wanna to do is do translation, rotation and scale. If it is a handheld shot, that is probably the best option to use because there is a 
potential for the camera to be going in and out, left to right and rotating. If it's locked off on sticks, you could probably get away with just translation and rotation or just translation. But generally, if it's a handheld shot, translation, rotation and scale will work. And next, all we need to do is track back. We do not need any information from 400 onwards because the object will have disappeared by then, but we do need it to track from the start of the footage up to 400. So we can either track backwards, which is what this one's gonna do. It's gonna track everything to the left of the playhead or this one here, which will track single frames. So what we're gonna do is just track to start. And you can see here, it's tracking it pretty well, doing a good job and done. Now again, if for whatever reason you do lose the tracking information and say it's stopped there and nothing tracked, you just go through and you would just track frame by frame. So with that done, all we need to go down is here is go create planar transform. And what that's going to do is save all of this tracking data into this little transform node. And we can now delete the tracker because that's actually not doing anything. So all, with this transform node, we just need to put this in between our freeze frame and the merge. So we're gonna click that node. We're gonna shift drop it until we can see that blue and green and drop it in there. And now basically the time stretched image, so the freeze frame here, is adhering to the tracking information before merging into our main footage. So if we play this back, you can see our guy hangs around. But as you can see here, this is the point, it hangs around for the whole footage. So to do that, we're gonna go to frame 400, select the merge node, and we're going to keyframe the blend. So we're gonna keyframe the blend at 400 to one, so it's 100% opaque, go four to frame, and we're gonna drop it to zero. So basically, Right up until frame 400, it's visible. After frame 400, it's not visible. And so if we play this back, too easy. So that's how you create a action freeze frame in Fusion. Now, if for instance, you wanted to, I don't know, add a, another guy here so that it kind of comes in, you know, you wanna do a couple instances of freeze frame, that's really, really simple. All you need to do is grab the main footage Control C and Control V. I'm gonna rename that one. We're gonna name it freeze. And we're gonna find the frame that we wanna freeze it at. Maybe we wanna freeze that one here. So frame 385, shift space, time stretcher. And uncheck the diamond, type 385. Again, we're just repeating everything. We're gonna type it in polygon, to add our polygon, zoom in. All right, so we've masked him out, softened the edge a little bit. Now all we need to do is merge it into the footage. So we're just gonna do that there. So we're gonna chuck another merge node in. And now we need to track the, we would need to track the footage again. So select the main footage, shift space, type in planar tracker. And this time we're going to be tracking from frame 385. So we're gonna select our spot to grab the information set our reference, change it to translation rotation scale and track backwards. Now we can create our planar transform. We're gonna shift drop that in between the merge and the time stretcher, delete the planar tracker. We're gonna grab the merge node because it's at 385. So we're going to do our blend keyframe, shift four to frame, drop it down. And now if we play this through, We've got our double freeze frame there. Once you've got it down pat, it's actually a really quick and easy effect to create and really good if you do a lot of action footage. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And yeah, until the next video, guys, see ya.